All right, in this video, we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. This is a technique used when y is not given as an explicit function of x. For example, suppose that y squared equals sine of x squared times y cubed. In this case, we can't just calculate dy dx using the normal methods because the x and y terms are intermingled. So we use the chain rule when taking the derivative of expressions containing y and then solve for dy dx. So that's all implicit differentiation is. And in this video we'll do two simple examples. First, consider y to the fifth plus 2y equals x squared. So each time we run into a term containing y, we're going to use the chain rule. So taking the derivative of each term starting from the left, d dx of y to the fifth is 5y to the fourth times dy dx. So again, that's just the chain rule. So now taking the de derivative of the second term, d dx of 2y is 2 times dy dx. Now on the other side, we have x squared. That's an explicit function of x. So we just take the derivative in the usual fashion and we're going to get 2x. Now put these values back in the equation, or equating both sides. So we have d dx of y to the fifth plus 2y equals d dx of x squared. So using our results we obtained on the previous slide, 5y to the fourth times dy dx plus 2 dy dx equals 2x. So let's pull out the dy dx on the left hand side. That multiplies y to the fourth plus 2 equals 2x. Now all we do, do is solve for dy dx. So we find that dy dx is 2x over 5y to the fourth plus 2. So let's try another example, a similar one. Find dy dx when x cubed plus 3y to the fourth equals 2x plus 7. So we're going to step through taking the derivative of each term and use the chain rule whenever we encounter an expression containing y. So on the left hand side we have d dx of x cubed plus 3y to the fourth. That's d dx of x cubed plus d dx of 3y to the fourth. We get 3x squared for the first term. And now for the second term, which contains y, we need to use the chain rule. So we have 12y cubed. And then we multiply by dy dx because of the chain rule. Now on the right hand side, we have d dx of 2x plus 7 equals 2. Equating both sides, we get 3x squared plus 12y cubed dy dx equals 2. Subtract 3x squared, 12y cubed dy dx equals 2 minus 3x squared. And we did that because we're just going to solve for dy dx. And we get 2 minus 3x squared over 12y cubed. So that's all you do when you do implicit differentiation. Use the chain rule when you encounter terms with y, and then solve for dy dx. And your answer is going to be given in terms of x and y. And that's the best you can do. They might have you plug in numbers in your homework. And we'll do some more examples in the next video, uh, a little bit more complicated. And so if you need help with calculus, uh, we have a problem solution book that can be instantly downloaded at calculuswithoutlimits.com.